Super Bowl FA 18 on this is an awesome plane. It was right out of the box. box. We were very nervous and it flew good. Here are the views. Top view, bottom view, back view, side view, and front view. We had a successful maiden flight and it flew really good. This plane would have a very successful flight. It, it flew a lot like the A-10 without rudders. We came down for a landing and when we landed, we were going to take off again, but then we noticed a problem. <laughs> After the first flight, we were going to fly it again. We put a new battery in and then we noticed that our elevator was down. Like that. So we thought it was a servo centering problem, so we unplugged the battery and plugged it in again. But we still had it down like this. We decided not to fly it, and boy, we're real lucky. That problem was that the servo back here was stripped. Like, that means that you can move it very easily without having, like, like do that. Like, you would have to with other ones. Um, it was very good luck to get that plane on the ground, because if we had bad luck at that moment, this plane wouldn't be here anymore. Just a couple piles of crumbs. They just strip so little force on them and they just move. On the medium flight, we flew it very gently. But if we were sure that we, if we had flown it aggressively, those servos would just have slipped and this plane would be heading towards the ground. It's a good lesson for us to test our servos better next time. So we're, we're really lucky that this plane is still alive today. Go fly that fun with Knox! Changing servos is very common and we do it to our A-10 a lot of times. We changed the wing servos. And that worked out pretty good. One of the reasons that we haven't changed these stock servos is because this one, the glowing red one, is um a reverse servo. Our main servo is the T-Pro M G90 and we don't know where to get reverse ones of those so we just got to keep those stock ones in. 